Hello everyone, today let's build a Slack bot that is connected to OpenAI. The target of this demo is to have a Slack app that we can ask things in Slack and it will answer by calling OpenAI ChatGPT. For this demo, we need access to a few things, Slack, permissions to install apps in Slack and OpenAI. So let's start. First thing, let's go to api.slack.com to create our app. Click on your apps, then create an app. We'll create it from scratch. Let's name it AI Agent. Select the workspace and click Create App. Now that the app is ready, we need to do a few things first. We'll start by enabling Socket Mode. Slack Socket Mode allows your app to receive interactive event data directly through a WebSocket connection, bypassing the need for public HTTP endpoints. Socket Mode ensures communication remains secure within internal or restricted network environments. Generate an app level token with the scope connections right. The next step is to go to OAuth and permissions. We'll add the necessary permissions for the bot. Scroll down to bot token scopes and add a few necessary scopes. Each scope describes what access it has. I'll leave a link in the description for all the scopes available in Slack. Now that we've added the scopes, let's install the app to the workspace. The last thing we need to add here is the event subscriptions. You need to explicitly choose which events you want your app to receive. Let's add the ones for app mention, messages in private and public channels, and for reactions added as well in case we need it. Finally, we can add an icon to personalize the bot. Let's head to Slack and invite the bot to our Slack channel. We can use the slash invite command to do this. Now for part two, we need to write some code to listen to the app mentions and process it. Slack provides a high level SDK called Slack Bolt that is quite handy. It has a lot of good examples, including for socket mode, Let's head over to VS Code and create a new Python file to work with. We'll install the necessary packages as well in the terminal, which includes Slack Bolt and OpenAI package. For the implementation, we start by importing Slack Bolt app and socket mode handler. We'll need two tokens, an app token and a bot token. The app token can be found in the basic information section in the app page, so let's copy it. The bot token can be found in the OAuth section. The next step is to create an app with the bot token, then create a socket mode handler with the app token and start it. Next, we add a handler for the app mention event. To test it out, let's have the bot add an eyes reaction on our message. Head over to the terminal and run it with Python. Then we go to Slack and mention the bot. We can see that the bot adds an eyes reaction on our message. So far, so good. The next part is connecting to OpenAI. For this part, you'll need an OpenAI key. So please check the docs on how to get the key and add it as an environment variable. Let's start by creating another file called AI. Inside it, we'll import OpenAI from OpenAI and we'll create an OpenAI client. Next, we'll define a function called chat that takes a query and returns the AI response. We'll use the chat completions API. Add the user query. Choose the model as GPT-40 and return the content of the response. Then let's head back to the main file and import our chat function. In our handle mentions function, we'll call the chat function with the event text, which is the user message. After we get the response, we'll post it to the same thread in Slack. We'll use thread TS to post as a thread message in the same thread. Lastly, let's remove the eyes reaction. Let's run the main file and head over to Slack to test it out. All right, AI agent, tell me a joke.
it's thinking. We got our joke. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. ChatGPT probably needs to improve its sense of humour. That's it for this video. We got our app to work and connect to OpenAI. Thanks for watching and have a great day.